Are we? Yeah, we are ready to go. Hello, this is Jerry's first tutorial. Welcome <laughs> to Return to Sender. Away you go, Jerry. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, this is Jerry's songbook, and I'm going to start by singing an Elvis number called Return to Sender. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to sing the first verse and the, and the chorus. And as you can see, if I push the page up, when it comes to that bit there, oops, when it comes to, sorry I'm pointing at the wrong bit, when it comes to this bit here where the pencil is, then you, when you finish that, you've got to go all the way back and start the second verse, which is up there. Okay, so I'm just going to sing the first verse, and the underlined bit is the chorus, and uh, we go all the way up here, okay, and I'm going to stop there. And what I'll do after is I'll explain how how to sing, you know, how, how what the, what the lyrics uh, try to explain, you know, what the lyrics mean in their weird way. Okay, let's go. And to do that, so everything is like four. I'm just going to play a simple one uh, four beat bar. Okay. I gave a letter to the postman. He put it in his sack Bright and early next morning He brought my letter back She wrote upon it R Return to sender Address unknown No such number No such Quarrel, a lover's spat. I write, I'm sorry, but my letter keeps a coming back. So, if I were to continue, you would you would go straight back up to the top there, where we're pointed out, and then we'll continue on the second verse. And so then I drop it in the mailbox, but I'm not not going to do that. For now, I'm just going to explain what they mean. I would assume that you've read the tutorials one to three in, in Jerry's song book. So uh, I'm going to assume that you know what 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 uh, they try and represent. But this is a reminder. That little bit there. What's that called? What's that? Hey. Yeah, no, no, the little squiggle. Oh um, shit! I must remember the name. Yeah, on. yeah. Let's assume I, I know what that what that's called. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. The, the little squiggle. Yeah, the little squiggle. Okay. So, remember when I said that every every bar will have uh, must have uh, four beats or four bonds, as I term them, beats or notes. I count the first bar for you. That little squiggle means that it's a half a bond, and you can see the thing before the eye, so that indicates that that's another half bond, so that's one. Gave a is one because it's joined by that hat, as it And letter, which is also. That's, so letter's got two syllables joined by that, so that's another one. And two, the two syllables, that's, that's another one. So as you can see, that's altogether one, two three, four. And so that's under the C chord. And if we go to the second bar, you notice that post is stretched by another half a, a, a note. So, and post man, so you start off with half a note of man. So, but the double N there, the double N there means that that it's the same note for of man, but it's the, the the note man is stretched for another two beats. So if you count that that bar, post is one. Bon. T and man here, is the second bon, and then n n and n n the stretch notes add up all add up to four. Okay. And if we go onto the third bar. Exactly. He, 
If you notice, so that's half a bone on there, where it's pointed. He put, that's one bone, so that's one and a half. It in is another bone, so that's two and a half. His is on its own, which is a single bone, that's three and a half. And S on its own, that's half a bone, so all in all, it adds up to four. And in this particular bar, sac, there's no stretch on sac, just, just a single bone, but there are three... Uh, beats there that follows it, so you can just strum three times. So I'm not going to go any any further. But let's and oh by the way, let's get down to here. Tacit means no chord, so it's just a, it's a silent. So I want to repeat that first first verse. Let's see if we can do that again. One two three. I gave a letter to the postman. Stretch, stretch to three, four. He got, he put in in his sack. Three, four. Bright and early next morning. Stretch. He brought my letter back. No cause. She rode upon it. Return to sender. Three, four. Address. Number three four. No such zone. Oh no, let's try that again. That, that bit there with the CF. No such zone. That's zone is one, two, and then the CF is two, two, two beats. And then straight into F. Okay, so let's try. No such zone. We had a quarrel. I write, I'm sorry, but my letter keeps a coming back. Two, three, four. So way back to the top. So then I drop it in the mailbox and then and send it special D. Three, four. Bright and early next morning, it came right back. She wrote upon it, return to sender, address unknown, no such number, three, four. So this bit here, if I move the paper up, you'll see that there's a two there, because after the first verse and chorus, that one there, it's, although it's part of the chorus, so when we the second time round, when we finish here, it tells you to go down to the next bit, which is number two. Okay, so let me repeat that that section there for you. No such number. So go to number two. No such zone. This time I'm gonna take it myself. And put it right in her hand And if it comes back The very next day Again, test it Then I'll understand The writings on it Okay So we're back to the chorus There Okay, straight down Return to sender Address unknown Three, four No such number Three, four So first time round It's number one again No such zone No such zone So that tells you that we've got to go back to the last uh, return sign, which is there. So we repeat that. Return to sender. Address unknown. No such number. So back to number two. 
No, no, not back, but down to number two. No such a zone. That's exactly where we end. But that double line there means that that's the end. I don't know what it stands for, but that's what it is. So, there you go. So that's the whole song. Well done, Jerry, and thank you for the first ever tutorial of Jerry's songbook. Hope everybody enjoys it.